joined by Royals Vice President Mike Swanson to talk about what happened in Joplin and uh, the Royals have responded Fox Sports Kansas City has responded and many other people are responding as well and there are ways for people who are watching tonight to help out in the devastation there are Rhino and, and you know this is uh, as I told Joel in the pregame tonight we're around a game every day and it, it's baseball and it's sports but uh, you know reality sometimes comes in big doses and we got hit right in the nose on Sunday in Joplin and fans uh, at the ball club has stepped up with thirty five thousand dollars to heart to heart international and fans uh, can right now text into uh, HHI uh, nine zero nine 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 and a ten dollar donation can go to heart to heart uh, immediately and then uh, on Thursday and Friday out at Coffin Stadium in lot M between the two ballparks uh, from nine thirty to uh, eight thirty uh, heart to heart will be out there collecting donations either cash donations or hygiene kits and if, if people wonder what a hygiene kit is please go to heart to heart dot org and uh, and they will give the details of that explain what that is. And uh, let's see, then uh, next week, toward the end of the week this week, we will uh, be announcing a ticket program where uh, money's raised from tickets sold next week. A portion of the money for tickets sold during the next homestand will go to uh, the American Red Cross, who's obviously helping with this tragedy down in Joplin and, and in uh, Redding, Kansas. And then uh, next week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, the American Red Cross will have volunteers out the ballpark to take cash and, tr and change from Royals fans who attend the games. Unfortunately, we have uh, we've had some practice with situations like this, and it was just uh, a couple years ago that we had a similar situation in Kansas. And Frank, I know you had an opportunity to, to visit that community, and and uh, they bounced back nicely. I mean, they're not going to forget about it, but uh, Greensburg, Kansas, and now to hear about Joplin and Frank and I were talking Swanee I mean this is a place we go to the caravan every year I mean we've been down those streets and we've seen those people and those businesses and those homes yeah and and this is just you know we take so much for granted in life to begin with and and to, to sit here thinking we're you know here in Camden Yards and I watching a baseball game and what they're going through in Joplin right now and in Redding Kansas and and all over that that portion of the country right now it's just, it's just so devastating you know a few weeks ago this occurred in Alabama and Louisiana and it was just a story on the news but now it hits in our area and, and, and it really hits home and, and everybody in the organization stepping up tomorrow I'm actually going to Wilmington in the morning and I'm going to get a chance to talk to Steve Luber who's our pitching coach in Wilmington he's from Joplin and, and I've heard that his family is fine but uh, uh, you know our thoughts and prayers are with Steve and his family what they're going through he's miles away here uh, as a pitching coach in our organization and, and this is going on back in his hometown so I know that he, he's obviously distracted right now too but this is it's really hit home and, and it's huge for our organization to step up and our for our fan base to step up so you know the biggest thing I can encourage people to do is come to the ballpark next week to come out to the ballpark Thursday and Friday to uh, to donate and then next week uh, fill the ballpark where money from the donate from the tickets go to the donation to the American Red Cross and also bring some cash to help these people because they really need the help. And as we talk about Joplin, Alex Gordon hits a home run to right field. So he has scored both runs tonight. And the Royals lead 2 0 in the third inning. And if that landed on Utah Street, he's going to get himself another little plaque out there. <laughs> I probably shouldn't tell this story, but I told, sure you you on, I told you this on the bus. I might as well. I, I went for a little exercise walk today. And I was headed back to the hotel. And I went via Utah Street. And I passed this individual walking toward the ballpark, and the guy's name was Alex Gordon. And he was trying to spot that, so we walked around over some kids having their lunch, and nobody knew who Alex was. And we finally tripped over that little plaque that's embedded in the uh, in the sidewalk out there. And I think Alex just got himself another one. <laughs> Alex was kind of surprised to see me walking back, and he says, "You out running?" I said. Alex I don't run anywhere nowadays but if I could just get the walk in I'll be happy. <laughs> well Alex his fastball stayed inside and he that's a, Alex handles so much quicker this year. I mean you go back last year a lot of times that ball was jamming but he's able to get those hands out all the work he did this offseason is really paying off and it's just nice to see him having fun. Frank that's a throwback leadoff guy for you isn't it? a guy who bunts signal in the first mm -hmm. inning and, and then he homers in his next at bat. <laughs> I think Bobby Bonds would be the kind there's, of guy. there's your guy. <laughs> we uh, Swanee we declared Alex 
official as a leadoff man when he laid down the bunt. Well I had to do some quote unquote exhaustive research because he hadn't had one this year and I noticed he didn't have one last year so during the time I almost missed coming up here uh, I found that he didn't have he hasn't had one since September 27th of 2009 and it was his fourth career bunt single so now I've got more information on Alex Gordon tonight than I've ever been loaded for. <laughs> Two balls, two strikes on Melky Cabrera. He singled his first time up. Big hop to Hardy, who backs up and throws out Melky. And for those of you who aren't familiar with this ballpark, and we are watching Alex's home run bounce in the patio area out there, and then ricochet off the wrought iron. On the other side of that wrought iron is. Utah Street that's E U T A W and the home runs that land on Utah Street all those guys have plaques with their name and the date that they hit the home run and they had a chance to with the off day yesterday to walk up and down Utah Street and see all those home run balls that have been here since this ballpark opened up in the early 90s. Alex wanted to get a picture of that today and he did so. One ball, one strike. We're visiting with Mike Swanson, Royals vice president, and encouraging you to help the Royals and Fox Sports Kansas City in aiding the people in Redding, Kansas, and in Joplin, Missouri. And we'll be giving you more of that information as the game goes along. Swanee, thanks for stopping by. Thanks, guys, very much. Appreciate it.